हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग कंसिडरेशन इन डिजाइन सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ मैन्युफैक्चरिंग व्हाट इज मैन्युफैक्चरिंग एक्चुअली मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इज बेसिकली कन्वर्टिंग द रॉ मटेरियल इनटू फिनिश प्रोडक्ट और फिनिश गुड और द कंपोनेंट्स विद द हेल्प ऑफ डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ मशीनरीज to meet the customer specification this is manufacturing or in simple words we can say to produce or to construct something on large scale with the help of machines and the different mechanical technique is called manufacturing uh, uh, basically uh, the uh, design of product uh, selection of material or material selection uh, processing of raw material into finished product these all activities are related to each other so manufacturing is basically uh, is basically the process of raw material into finished product for example the example of manufacturing is uh, uh, conversion of uh, steel rod into transmission shaft uh, another example is uh, sheet metal conversion of sheet metal into uh, car body or body of automobile and so so many and these manufacturing uh, processes are generally classified into three categories first is casting processes second is deformation processes and third is machining processes or material removal processes so i'm taking first process that is casting process uh, basically uh, the part which are complex in design and difficult to machine are generally made by casting processes using sand molds and uh, mostly these sand cast part are made by cast iron aluminum alloy and brass and these cast components are more stronger than machine parts or the parts which are machined for example we can say the example of casting or uh, the casted part are cylindrical block of ic engine gear uh, gearbox housing uh, different uh, type of structures tool beds etc uh, there are uh, uh, some general principle of casting product also we can say the design consideration there are some design consideration of casting also i am going to discuss here one by one the design consideration of casting these are the design consideration of casting first design consideration of casting is keep the stress area in compression generally cast iron has more compressive strength than its tensile strength so when the tensile stress is unavoidable what we can do we can consider a clamping device uh, such as tie rod or the bearing cap and these clamping devices relieves the component from the tensile stress second consideration is external corner should be round as you can see in these two diagrams here this external corner we are taking as round in this diagram also the external corner is round <clears throat> if we are taking external corner as round it reduces the formation of brittle edges and also increase the endurance limit here we are taking fillet radius so the fillet radius reduces the stress concentration also and uh, the metal in the corner cool faster than the metal adjacent to the corner so because of this the brittle chilled edge form due to iron carbide third consideration is avoid abrupt changes in the thickness here abrupt change in the cross section or abrupt change in the thickness result high stress concentration so if the if we are taking the thickness is variable the changes will be gradual next consideration is avoid concentration of metal at the junction uh, as you can see in this diagram uh, generally there is a concentration of metal at the junction even after the metal is solidify so because this metal is in the molten stage at the center as you can see in this diagram the metal is a molten stage so because of this uh, the blow holes or cavities or damages can appear at the center so just avoid the concentration of metal uh, by providing code opening in the webs and ribs and staggered the ribs and webs next consideration is just avoid 
thin section uh, actually thickness depends on the process of casting so it is always calculated on the basis of strength consideration second manufacturing processes are the deformation processes basically uh, we can define the deformation processes as when the metal is plastically deformed into desired shape either it is hot or in cold condition uh, forging is one of the deformation process and in this forging the metal is plastically deformed into desired shape and uh, these forging components are generally used in automobiles and aircrafts like uh, connecting rod automobile structure aircraft structure uh, valve and valve bodies etc other deformation processes are like uh, rolling extrusion press working etc here i am taking uh, the manufacturing or the design consideration of forging i am going to discuss about the design consideration of forging here first design consideration of forging is proper direction of fiber line this part we have to forge this is the forged part and this dotted line is called the fiber line for this particular part so uh, if we are designing a, a crankshaft and uh, we are choosing forging process for the manufacturing in that case the fiber line should be parallel to the tensile force and it should be perpendicular to the shear force we avoid machining for the cut why uh, we why we are avoiding the machining because uh, because of the machining the fiber line will break and the part become weak second consideration is adequate draft should be provided if we are providing a draft angle see here you can see in this diagram in this part there is no draft angle provided and here in this part there is a draft angle provided at outside and inside so if we are providing a particular draft angle in the forge part so it is very necessary for easy removal of part from die impression another consideration is adequate fillet and corner radii there should be adequate fillet and corner radii in the forged part another next consideration is just avoid the thin section and ribs in the forged part another consideration is just parting line and forging plane should coincide here you can see in this diagram this is the part this is the forged part and before the forging process start just parting line this is the parting line for this forged part here you can see here this is the parting line and this dotted line is showing the forged plane so these part, uh, two uh, terms parting line and the forge uh, the forging plane should coincide before the forging start third type of manufacturing processes are machining processes or material removal process processes uh, when the material is removed by some sharp cutting tool that type of processes are called machining processes or material removal processes like uh, drilling turning milling grinding shaping planing lapping etc and the product which we can get from the machining processes are like shaft keys bolts nuts etc so uh, there are some design consideration of the machining or material removal processes i am going to discuss here first design consideration of machining is just avoid machining because <coughs> machining is costly compared to casting or the forging processes so it should be avoided second consideration is specify geometric tolerances here designer should specify some geometric tolerances and liberal dimension if the tolerances are closer it will result higher cost or the cost will be higher third consideration is just avoid sharp corner designer should avoid sharp corner because it cause stress concentration designer should use stock dimension because by using stock dimension we can avoid the cost of machining designer should avoid hard material because uh, it is difficult to machine that's why we should avoid the hard material uh, next next consideration is just avoid 
द कंपोनेंट विच रिक्वायर स्पेशल प्रोसेसेस और स्पेशल मशीनिंग और मटेरियल रिमूवल प्रोसेसेस बिकॉज इन इट इंक्रीज द कॉस्ट ऑफ मशीनिंग एंड द लास्ट कंसिडरेशन इज द कंपोनेंट विथ थिन वेब्स एंड वॉल शुड अवॉइडेड ओनली रिजिड कंपोनेंट इज प्रिफर्ड फॉर मशीनिंग I'm taking here another process. Uh, it is a joining or assembling process or assembling method. Welding. Welding is one of the joining or assembly method, and uh, I'm I'm going to discuss here the design consideration of welding processes. What kind of design consideration we should prefer while welding? Whatever welding process we are choosing. the first consideration should be the number of weld should be minimum we should choose minimum number of welds second consideration is the location of the weld should be properly defined third consideration uh, the sequence of the welding should be correct especially in the complex part and the last consideration uh, the material whatever material we are choosing the material with high weldability Uh, should prefer and the carbon contain should be less in that component because it harden the weld and it result cracks in the weld so it is all about the manufacturing consideration in design thanks for watching the video and subscribe the channel for more lectures